Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Now recently I uploaded a video in which I showed you how to install Skyhawk Recovery and in today's video we will have an in-depth look at it. Basically what are the functions available, how is it different compared to TWRP and what all you can do with this particular recovery. Now before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to have a look at the features of SHRP. What is SHRP you ask? Well this is basically a polished version of TWRP and it is known as Skyhawk recovery that is skyhawk recovery project and if you want to know how to install it well there is a video at the top right hand corner just click on that link and you'll be able to follow the instructions and install it so first things first let's have a look at the layout of this particular recovery we have options like flash wipe backup restore mount files terminal and advanced in the essentials part this is where all the maintenance as to flashing rom and flashing zips and you know mounting the data doing the backup and stuff is there now at the bottom you have two which is related to the recovery itself you have magisk so you can manage magisk modules and stuff theme so one by one let's actually start to have a look at them so first let's see what flash does now as you can see over here this is the menu where you can locate all the files and select them and flash them if you tap on these three lines over here you will get all the files in an alphabetical order this is the alphabetical order starting with a and this is the other way around now, apart from this, if you tap this, you have an option to select the storage that is internal storage, USB, OTG or micro SD. And if you want to flash an image, say a recovery image or you're flashing a GSI image, you can tap on this and your system will locate the image file. So that is what the flashing section does. Next up, we have the wipe menu. So you do have format data, wipe and advanced wipe. So first format data, if you type yes over here and select the tick mark, what will basically happen is everything including your internal storage will be wiped. And then if you go to wipe, this is the basic wipe. And if you tap this, the wipe will happen. And if you go to advanced wipe, you have this option wherein you have the tick marks. Now remember, when you tap on this, you will notice that it becomes blue. So when it becomes blue, that means that particular part or that particular partition is selected. And then you can just go ahead and use the tick mark to wipe. Invalid partition selection. So those are the three options in the wipe menu. And of course, this is the famous Nandroid backup, wherein you can select what partitions you want to backup. And then you can tap this. If you tap this here, you can again select the storage. Next up, we have restore. So if you've done an Android backup and you want to perform a restore, that particular backup will be listed over here. You can just select that backup and you can restore it from here. Now, next up, we do have mount different types of partitions is what you can mount. So you can mount system, vendor and all the other options that is for mounting the partitions. And this, of course, is your file manager. You can do a bunch of things. You can also change the permissions. That is the CH mod of a particular file. Say if you want to move it to you know system and you want to change the permissions you can just select the file select ch mod and change the permissions next up we have terminal for running terminal commands that is a very very useful feature and if you go to advanced you have an option to copy log fix contexts side load you can put the phone in side load mode and connect it to pc and run the side load command from the pc as well and you can partition as well so that was everything about the essentials now we come to the very very important and uh, interesting part for this particular recovery so say first if we go to majisk enter you have an option to unroot and root that is very very simple you have a core only mode and you have list of modules so if there is any module that is active without actually booting into the system or say if you're having a boot loop you can go ahead and disable the module from here or you can enable it as well next up we have theme now this will look at towards the end of the video now tweaks you can manage your substratum overlays you can clear the fingerprint 
impressions from the system. You can force encryptions and you can enable or disable camera to API. We don't need to use that because we already have camera to API enabled by default on the Pocophone F1. Now, these here are the settings like general settings, zip signature verification, reboot after installation. All these settings you can go ahead and change. You can change the time zone, screen timeout, you can enable or disable it, vibration, you can go ahead and completely disable it like I do it. I completely want the vibration to be disabled. So those are all the settings over here. And then if you go to security, you can actually lock the recovery using a pattern over here. Or you can select a new password as well. You can select language. For now, these are the languages that are available. That's English, Indonesian, Brazilian or Portuguese, Turkish and Russian, of course. Now, this is a reboot menu. You have power off, reboot and advanced. Advanced allows you to go back to recovery and you can go to the bootloader as well. And last but not the least, you do have about wherein you get all the details about the maintainer and everything else. So a big kudos to the maintainer who's built up such a wonderful recovery, whoever the developer is. For now, we'll quickly have a look at the theme option. So there are a couple of options over here. It will load. So wait for it to load completely. There you go. So you can select the theme color. See if you like black color. No, black on black will not show you anything. So let's select this color over here and let's keep the accent color um, sort of yellowish. Then go back and you can enable or disable the status bar. You can show the battery bar, which comes over here. As you can see, it's all the way full. Show battery percentage, show battery icon and show time. And then you can select what type of a nav bar you want. You can select next bit. That is sort of like the pixel. Rounded corners, notch mode, you can do that as well. Once everything is selected of your choice, you can tap here. It is applying the theme. Basically, it will repack the recovery and reflash it. Let's wait for it to be done. There you go. As you can see, that's the battery percentage. That's the battery bar the accent color and everything has changed the accent color has become yellow the navigation bar has changed so all in all this is a pretty pretty amazing recovery it gives you a host of options and present it in a very very different way i really really liked it let me know in the comment section if you liked it or not and please do like this video because it really really helps the channel a lot and it doesn't cost you anything until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care Goodbye.